Asia by Asia is the self-titled debut album by Asia, like I said. Yeah, this has been requested by Close to the Edge, and he is a really rapid fan of Asia, or I suppose he is, or he is just really impatient, or maybe both, who knows. But uh, yeah, self-titled debut album by the band. Uh, this is progressive rock and pop rock, sort of a combination of the two. Uh, kind of think about, you know, David Gilmour era, Pink Floyd, um, Phil Collins era, Genesis. Think about that numbered album by Yes, I can't remember, but Lonely Owner, fuck, fucking hell, Loner of an Owner Heart. Lone, loner of a, lo <laughs> fucking hell, Owner of a Lonely Heart, there we go. Uh, think about those kind of songs and this song kind of fits perfectly into that. Having the more progressive pop songs than, you know, more progressive rock in a way. Heat of the Moment is a very big song of, about the band. It was the heat of the moment. I definitely know this song and this is the shortest song of this record. Uh, all of the songs are 4 or 5 minutes long, I didn't even notice that, but they are. Making for a consistent, short but memorable record, which this is. Heat of the Moment, catchy song, it is definitely, in my opinion, the best song of the record. But because of that, the band kind of, you know, goes downhill from here because this was the biggest single of the band and by the band to this day. And it was all on their starting debut song, Heat of the Moment. Uh, which is kind of impressive and kind of sad at the same time, you know, whatever you want to say. Nearly only time will tell the, the second biggest hit song, I believe, so the band is kind of going downhill, downhill already. Uh, only Time Will Tell, pretty good song. Uh, it kind of rehashes the, the the highlights of Heat of the Moment, I would say, and just kind of, you know, plays and toys with it. But it, with a bit more progressive tendencies, but overall it doesn't really uh, come out of, you know, the, the catchy, poppy sound of the band and stays in that realm quite a bit. It doesn't really take any risk, but, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Then we have Soul Survivor, which is kind of the more um, patriotic songs of the album. Um, it's definitely more of a rocker song than really a poppy track because the song really, you know, sounds a bit like um, Eye of the Tiger or something by, uh, I won't say Journey, but uh, I actually forgot the band name, but, you know, Eye of the Tiger, one of the most recognizable songs. Sounds similar to that, kind of 80s, it sounds kind of dated, it's still pretty good, but it's definitely the weakest single so far and I believe yeah, these three, three songs were the only three singles. So yeah, the album is kind of going downhill, track after track. Then we have One Step Closure, which is the fourth track. And we're one step close to the end, and I'm about to write. Uh, yeah, not that one, but uh, this one is still pretty good, I would say. Four minutes long, it's not too long. It's the, sh well, it's the second shortest uh, song so far, after Heat of the Moment, which is the shortest song of the record. Um, overall decent track, it has some very melodic inter intercourse I would say. Overall doesn't really stretch out that much but it is overall still a pretty good record overall. And I actually read, what the fuck, somebody's drumming I think, but, uh, Steve Housen in the band, who's I believe from Yes, I'm pretty sure he's from Yes, yeah there we go. Uh, so this is kind of a super group, I believe, you know, Close to Yes didn't tell me anything. Uh, John Wetton is also from, uh, I don't want to say so. He was in King Crimson, Uriah Heep and another f uh, more fucking band. Alright, that's interesting. Uh, Steve Howe and John Wetton, I guess, are in this band as well. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, then we get Time Again, which is kind of, uh, it is one of those songs that kind of tries to re encapturate the uh, the impact that Heat of the Moment had because because I even know that song, although I'm not really an Asia fan. But uh, you know, this track is very powerful, I would say. It is kind of, you know, it repeats kind of the thing, but like I said multiple times throughout the video already, yeah, you know, if. If it ain't broke, you know, fuck no. I don't want to repeat myself over and over again. But this song is essentially that good song, 
doesn't really stretch out of the you know safe uh, sounding sound of the record but it's overall good it's a good song uh, then the record gets more progressive and longer with the uh, with the second side all being five minutes track five minute tracks instead of four so I don't know if that was a coincidence or if the managers uh, gone with that Wildest Dreams is definitely one of the highlights of side two you know I personally think that Asia is kind of one of those bands that starts out great and then kind of gets weaker throughout because side one it was really good and side two is kind of weaker. Uh, with Wildest Dreams being easily the best song of side two, uh, just a lot of you know great interchange on there, a lot of great melody lines. Uh, the song overall is you know very uh, creative, very imaginary. So this definitely it's probably my favorite song together with Heat of the, Heat of the Moon because the song is the most reverse, most progressive goes um, way more out of the safe sounding territory than other records so I probably prefer it over that then we have Without You which kind of sounds like um, YouTube before YouTube you know with or without you but kind of reminds me of that song title and kind of the song structure of it not entirely but a little bit uh, but this song definitely sounds cheesy and kind of dated for its time it's not a bad song but it's definitely way too poppy than actual proc in a way and, and I'm not saying that this record has to be full blown proc for me to like but it doesn't have you know to get that poppy as the record is uh, which kind of makes it sound dated and you know good when a progressive rock is really good it's arguably the most unforgettable music ever and I don't want to say that pop rock is exactly that you have some exceptions can I think of something? Uh, I guess, you know, a Michael Jackson or Prince, although they're more traditional pop. But think about a Beat It by Michael Jackson or, you know, a, um, a Purple Rain by Prince. Something like that. I do really love that. And those pieces are unforgettable pop masterpieces. But I would say that uh, this song doesn't really do it for me. It still sounds good. It is still a radio stable, I believe. But overall, it's probably the weakest song so far. Uh, if I'm concerned or one of the weakest then we have Cutting It Fine which is kind of a dragging song it's not dumb or something it's not bad but it's just kind of like you know it's a little bit too long for me it's, uh, it drags on a little bit too much it's kind of you know did already what the record already had achieved up to, up to this point it doesn't, doesn't really do it for me it's still alright, it's not a bad song, but overall I just enjoyed the, the you know the side one way more and Wildest Dreams is pretty great I would say. Then we have Here Comes the Feeling, which I believe is um, is misspelled because I believe it is Here Comes the Feelings, but maybe it is one particular feeling. Uh, but then it would be I believe Here Come or not, well here comes another thing but here comes the feeling now no, the songs are even more retarded uh, but the, the title really confuses me the song is nice we have some I believe some nice piano on there I believe there's some keyboards I love the keyboards on this record uh, it's the longest song of the record it is kind of progressive as well uh, reaching that 5 minutes and 42 seconds uh, span so this is definitely the most progressive song of the record it could have been longer because the record was really short but uh, overall it was still consistent and if the record you know if it would stay like this we wouldn't have a problem with it but I'm kind of missing an epic here that is kind of the thing that I have with this record it ends nicely it ends you know with a happy ending here comes the feeling kind of emotional kind of a more happy upbeat pop rock tune but I am kind of missing some frog edge on this record kind of missing some you know some balls to really you know encapsulate that Asia feel but Asia is probably not going for prog Asia is more of a I believe a pop rock band with a little bit of prog in it uh, mixed in but overall they're not really a prog band so I should, probably shouldn't hold that against them so there we go Overall this was a good record, it was solid, um, I enjoyed the first six songs, those are pretty good, uh, with the, the first three easily being the best ones, and Wildest Dreams easily being the best of side two. 
so without you kidding, cutting it fine and here comes the feeling didn't do, really do it for me once up closer and time again we're still pretty good so overall this is a good record and i would give it a solid 8 out of 10. let me know what you think about this asia record let me know in the comments down below hope you've enjoyed it uh, subscribe to the channel like the video if you want more videos like this one close to yes thank you for requesting this video um i like asia you can request more but it's probably gonna go downhill from here because you know i knew heat of the moment but i don't really know anything else about this band and i'm pretty sure that's the biggest hit so you know i can still check other albums out by them but yeah just let me know hope you've enjoyed this album review uh those things you just said and i'll see you guys in the next video god bless safe take care and peace